Hey, this is a video on playing with a pick again. Uh, so I play primarily with my fingers. Everybody knows that. But uh, I do play a lot with a pick. And my pick of choice is actually a D'Andrea. Either to use that or my uh, blue chip pick. The blue chip sounds great on the electric guitar as well. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about just the way most guitars play is primarily position playing. I think early on, um, we all learned pentatonic scales. And so we learned the fifth position, the third position, and maybe the eighth position. And then we tend to play instead of cross like a piano player, we play up and down. So for purposes of simplicity, I'll say the horizon goes this way. So playing horizontally is very, very difficult. Um, and the comfort zone is always to stay within the position. So a way of example is like, I think earlier on when we all first start playing guitar, we might learn like um, a blues or something in the key of A. So you go the... so on so that's basically the one the four and the five some form of pattern like that so they tell you when you start improvising what do you start doing so most people say okay i'm in the key of a so i've got a7 d7 and uh, e7 so I've got these three chords one four five and basically what ends up happening is you inevitably learn a pentatonic scale so So that sounds good. And there are guys who just made a living doing that stuff. And, and um, you know, a lot of it is that the beauty of the blues and the beauty of pentatonic playing is that it's very simplistic and you don't really get lost. You just have to let your ears follow you and you can go all day long. <laughs> So that sounds really good by standards of certain players. And it's more about the style that you play, or at least um, the energy that you put into it and stuff like that. But after a while, you start venturing out. And I always wondered why, like when you watch other instrumentalists, if you're listening or watching a pianist play, they kind of like using all of the real estate. If you watch a cellist play, all of the real estate and then um, guitar players I'm talking the great ones always for better or for worse tend to do this position playing it, I'm talking great blues players and stuff and hey I can't play like BB King I can't play like you know Stevie Ray Vaughan um, only when you start listening to guys or looking at guys like um, Julian Lodge or um, you know just uh, Sid Jacobs a lot of these guys play you start to see the beauty of the guitar and how, you know, the notes are repetitive, but how they use all of the fret bar. So I challenged myself and said to myself, not so much in blues, because I'm not really a blues player. How do I play more horizontally as opposed to vertically? Okay. And part of it is letting my ears guide me. And part of it is not being afraid to make mistakes when I solo. So, for example, if I'm doing runs and I'm just I'm going to stay in a key of C, go. So, I'm coming from here.
So going from this F here to this. It's hard, and it's a work in progress, but that's what I'm working on. Trying to play everything in horizontal as opposed to just. Just. 